Hi, this is Tom Johnson at I'd rather be writing.com. One of the questions that I'm constantly asked is how to integrate an email newsletter like Constant Contact into a WordPress blog. And I don't actually use Constant Contact myself. Uh, I've used it before, but it's a pretty robust email newsletter marketing tool that a lot of big companies use. And a lot of times they're using they're using constant contact before they have a blog. So from their mindset, they actually want to just kind of push their newsletter content into their blog and they want to know how they can integrate the two. Well, here's a little bit of how you can integrate the two. First of all, when you create an email marketing campaign and you have newsletters that you've sent out, you can click the newsletters and scroll down a bit. There's a share option. So if you, let me scroll down even more. If you click share and choose more and then start typing WordPress and enter your blog URL and click next. All it's really gonna do is put a link to your newsletter and I haven't figured out what this description field is. Uh, I would imagine there's some kind of variable in constant contact that serves as a template that put that you put before this. But uh, at any rate, if I save this draft and then go into my blog, my posts here, you can see that I've got a newsletter item and I can click preview. And all it really is, is a link to my newsletter, which, you know, I just threw a little template here together. I'm not really sure how useful that is because then you have you have content in two different places. To me it makes a lot more sense to publish your news as individual posts in your blog and then kind of link your newsletter to that. But uh, people have different purposes. So there's another way that you can integrate the two. Uh, for example, let's look at this site here, Raphael Racket Club scroll down here and you can see that we've got an email newsletter sign up form and this actually goes to constant contact so if I sign up for this and click subscribe it's actually integrated with the constant contact sign up form and the way you do that is actually kind of tricky in here what you do is first of all you have to go into uh, contacts in constant contact click join my mailing list and go down here to um, start the wizard to generate HTML code choose text links and walk through a series of steps until you get a big chunk of code right here scroll down and grab this string copy that now come back into your blog and you're going to add a plugin, a constant contact plugin. So go to plugins, add new, search for constant contact widget, and we'll install this. Click activate. And now this is going to add a little widget right in our widgets area. So scroll down to appearance widgets and you'll see a new widget here called constant contact. And we let's shrink this a little bit. We can drag this over. Ah. Hold on, the video frame gets in the way here. All right, and then open this up and you have a ton of options here, but that code that we copied, we need to paste right here. So this is the way that the form actually matches up with your own constant contact account. And then you can come down here and play around with the different options. There's lots of different styles and designs and they all kind of look poor in my opinion. But uh, once, you, and once you choose all this, you probably don't want to give credit. Uh, and you probably don't want to display the save subscribe, but click save and now this this little constant contact form is going to be in your sidebar all right that's it for the tutorial today on wordpress tips my site is i'd rather be writing.com and my name is tom johnson